excuse me. Hello, you. <laughs> that was a nice way to start, wasn't it? Uh, how are we doing, folks? Good evening. I'm trying to keep my voice down a little. Uh, bothersome boy, still not settled. It's so warm here tonight. Um, and I really don't want to have to plug all the AC units back in because they're all packed up to move now. Uh, but we're dealing with it. And he's starting to settle, so hopefully he'll settle soon. But hello, how's it going? Welcome. Apologies if it's late for you and I'm now talking like this. And most likely we'll make you doze off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but hi, how's it going? Hello, everyone. Hi, Alex, Savannah, hey. Ashley, Nicole, Sisu in the chat with moderation skills. Hi. Hello, Johnty. Hi, Sydney. Gemma, Crazy Mink. How's it going? All the good ones are here. It's fantastic. Had to do a double take, forgot about the mohawk. I forget about the mohawk about 15 times a day, and every time I walk past the mirror, I go, Jesus. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm using my light now, DJ, but I am, which is basically just me being quiet. <laughs> anyway, cheers. To sleeping children. Hey, Jordan. It's not too late for me. No, I know. A lot of our UK folks, if they're watching, it'll be two in the morning now, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but it's 1916 here. No, 9.16, sorry. Now for today's announcements. Shall I do today's announcements? There we go. Uh, we have a new friend on Ireland. Let's give a big ISO Ireland welcome to Raymond. Raymond, on behalf of your new Ireland family, welcome aboard. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of the island. Here I go. I'm going to get back to work supporting you and the enjoyment of our island. Good morning from Perth, Australia. Good morning, Rachel. Plans you're going to put me to sleep here in Scotland anyway. I hope I can, Lanau. I love Johnty Bell. Johnty Bell's the best. <laughs> See, you got the memo that there's beer clock. Always beer clock. It's always midday somewhere. And we've got a night stream. And we've got a relatively clear night. So we may well end up with a few shooting stars, which would be pretty good. Um, so plans today, we'll pop in and see Raymond in his boxes, but plans today, since it's a night stream, I want to start working on the lantern walk, which I think, actually, I've just realised, somebody told me and I forgot, lantern, lantern is spelt wrong, yes, hold on, <laughs> lantern walk, no, it's lantern walk, there we go. I don't know whether that's actually saved, but we'll hope it is. Some more. There we go. Might not update for you lot who are already watching, but never mind. Okay. There's a typo in the title. I know, yeah. I, somebody told me about it at like lunchtime today, and I've done nothing about it. I've been out and about all day, running errands, running around, getting anything sorted. Coco's up here. What's Coco doing? Coco's having a, having a good old look. Uh, Lily. Hi, Coco. Good evening to you. Isn't it a nice day out, Johnny? Oh, a chat. I'm glad for weather like this. It's perfect for air drying my laundry. Well, it is good for air drying your laundry. It's also good for getting a sweaty purple head. <laughs> well, the title just changed. Oh, neat. <laughs> I didn't think it would if you were watching it. That's good, though. Right, let's go and say hi to... Oh, Gala's checking out her fields. Hi, Gala. It's a lovely night out. Let's talk. We're not friends yet. I'm not sure what I should be doing. I'm loving just being outside today. Sounds good, Gala. It's a lovely night. My Amiibo is right today. I'm so excited to slog through and get the 10 videos I want. Yes, it's a long process, but worth it, I think. Okay. Oh, here's Zucker. Hi, Zucker. Oh, Zucker's got a bit of a flickery head. On the chat. On a neat day in Iso Island. Bloop. Is that it? Okay, never mind. I've already chatted today. Oh, yeah. oh, LaBelle's here. I'll have to do her in a bit as well. Check the shots before they shut. But we might have missed Mabel, sisters. Yes, we have. Never mind. I got Gala today. She's a sweetie. Glad that everyone here shares my love of Pietro. The cult is coming along nicely. I didn't 
you can do that me drink. No, me neither. Hi, uh, Lulani, by the way, one of our executive uh, members of the Discord. Oh, a violin, that's neat. Uh, grasshopper head we've seen before. I like that uh, Chupacabra stereo, that's pretty neat. I don't think I'm gonna buy one, but it's cool. Uh, turn it prices? I haven't got any, but. Oh, it's not horrific. That's alright. Do don't forget anchor. Oh no, we'll go and see anchor. Don't worry. So anchor is. Uh, oh, we've got to bring anchor in on the on the on the uh, card. You're right. Well remembered. Thank you. I had forgotten about that actually. Um, so we'll get that sorted. We'll just have a little pot around. See how the island's doing. Stitches is hanging out elsewhere. So we've got this space here. It's going to be anchor's house. Let's see if floor is about. Oh, Flora's hanging around by her house today. Hi, Flora. It's super evening, Pinky. Let's chat. The sketch of the night is packed. There's a monster movie on TV, video games are playing, music is a blast. Might just be an all nighter. Flora, it looks like it's going to be an all nighter for some of the people in this chat. You're a bad influence, Flora. Today's day two of Deirdre in my campsite. Awesome. Uh, oh, have we got red? No, I thought for a second then we had red, but we don't. Time for roses. They all look terrible. Let's have a look. Rose breeding. Uh, oh no, that's a good white. Okay, we've got one rose today. That is a good white rose. So we'll take you and we'll put you up here. Yeah, you're a good white rose. So you go in that hole there. Perhaps. Okay. So white and whites make purple, and they haven't, so you're no good. Oranges, we've already got those. Okay, so you need to come out. You're not a good white. You're not a good white there either. And then, seems to be I've got a good white up there. We're better off moving you up to the top for now. Up to there. And then you've got two whites touching you. There we go. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I try that one so Nicola was on the scout for um, fruit cider today so if you're from the UK uh, something like uh, uh, it's quite you quite like the dark fruits didn't you strong fruits you used to call it the strongbow dark fruits uh, or things like record lig or copper burger sort of thing difficult to find anything like that here so we're trying um, what's it called mad jack hard jack mad jack hard tropical punch Oh my god. That tastes like um, lilt. Yeah. And that will get you so drunk. Because yeah. that'll go down like pop. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, what's my favourite wine? Oh, a nice Rioja. Nice bottle of Rioja. Peach ciders, yeah. Yeah, I could go for a peach cider. I've got to be in the mood for like a real fruity cider. I normally drink, my preferred drink is like a, an IPA, but I don't, when the weather's like this, I don't mind just a lager. Just to cool me down a bit. Strongbow dark fruit sounds like, yeah, strong, I'm not a fan of this of myself, but Nicola loves it. Strong, over ice. My heart breaks. Sherby's not well. Sherby's. Oh, where'd I leave those tissues? I got a lot of nose stuff that needs to be in those tissues. Sherby's not well. How awful. Wine gives me migraines. That'll be the year. What's it called? It's in wine. It's tannins. You might have a you might have a tannin allergy. He's sick. We need to go and get him some medicine. Wait there, Sherb. I'll be right back with some medicine. Do not panic. 
Clint Sherb is not well, and this is we have to put things right with the world. We have to go and get him some medicine before we do anything else. I'm pretty sure we have some in stock. All those crayons up his nose, he needs to squirt them out. Keep six feet away, John T. He, well, he's sneezing, so it most likely isn't COVID, so we're okay. Sherb, Nicola, we need a medic. <laughs> Let's see, I think we've got... Huh? Said I'm not a vet. <laughs> said she's not a vet. <laughs> Creatures other. What do we have here? Yes, we have some medicine. Let's go. Full sprint. I oh, know I'm on it. Let's go. Oh, I love this sunny night. A uh, lovely starry night. Not a sunny night at all. Sherb, I'm coming! Open the door, Sherb! I'm coming! I wore a whole doctor's get up with mask and all. Everything to prevent the spread and flatten the curve. Sherb. That's ace. Sherb. Oh, sneezing right in my face. I mean, it's not great, mate. Medicine? Yes. Does it taste bad? Nah, he wasn't me. And you don't even bring me good stuff. This is true. Uh, LCB has a strongbow and other great locks on as well. This is the thing you see, Nick. We went to I went to the beer store thinking I'll buy cider at the beer store, and yeah, they don't have it. It's they it's LCBO. So we'll try the LCBO next thing week. Uh, LCBO has always got a massive line at the moment though, and the beer store doesn't. What happens if you don't give the meds? I don't have the game. Oh, don't worry. Uh, it lasts like three days, I think, if you don't give the meds. And it lasts a day if you do. I think. Something like that. Strongbow is a really good side. Act. See, I'm not... I'm, I, I, Strongbow is relatively, like, mainstream, I guess, really. It's kind of like, like the, the equivalent of, like, Carlsberg. Or, like, in America, it's like, it's like the equivalent of, like, Bud Light or something, you know? But the Dark Fruits is quite nice. We get a nook mask for that. Smile Isle. Oh, we helped somebody out. Nice. Ciders are huge here right now. You get um, they go around in, in like loops, don't they? Depending on whatever they want to advertise. See you, Sherby. Sherby must have visited my Weber. He's six a day too. Oh, so he got it off your villager, did he? That's what's happening. Oh, God, I wish these things would hurry up and do something. I, uh, Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. These need spreading. Let's go. Mr. is low selection, usually. Also, try out some of the Loblaws and other PC characters. Uh, some places carry wine and beer. Yeah, the Loblaws near us do um, do wine and beers, but the, beers, the beer choice isn't amazing at our Loblaws. Um... The wine's not bad. They've had a couple of alright. Well, supping wine, you know. They're not really trying to be fancy. <laughs> they do good supping wine. Uh, so, anyway, this is the area we'll work on today. This is the area we'll work on today. We're going to turn this into a lantern walk. So, basically, there's quite a few lanterns in the game. You can see if we've got like three of them set down here already. And I just think it'd be quite nice to have them sort of dotted along a nice uh, foresty nature walk. Uh, so that's the plan. We're going to start up by digging up all these plants because I don't really like any of them. And I don't particularly want this place to be very heavily flowered either. We'll have some weeds, I think. I don't want it to be a flowered area. What is a Latin walk? A lantern walk, sorry, the title was spelt wrong. Uh, so we're going to have just a nice walk through a forest where it's lit up with lanterns and we can see all the different lanterns. There's not much in the LC like LCBO's Monopoly on Blues, I know, right? That's what I'm saying, they're all queuing up outside the LCBO. It's basically doing like a one in one out system as well, which is good. So it doesn't mean you have to queue up. How long did I queue up for LCBO the other day? It was, I was queuing for about half an hour, wasn't I? About 45 minutes, something like that, yeah. Just to get in, just for alcohol. <laughs> Can have a nice glass or several. It's that kind of day of Chardonnay. Enjoy, seriously. Anyone from BC? Well, we're all from 
BC, if you mean. Oh no, we're not. We're from AD, aren't we? We're all from AD. If you're from BC, you're very old. <laughs> Kendall and Lakes were going uh, take away craft beers direct from the brewery. That's amazing. The um, the pub that my dad drinks in. It's just like a proper what we call it's it's a gum suckers. If you know the sort of place I'm talking about, old man pub. They go in like they go on there like on Wednesday and a Thursday night. There's like six people in there. There's a dog in the corner farting. You know, it's like proper old man pub. Um, and when they shut, they said basically, you can come and buy a barrel if you want. And they, so my dad went down and bought two barrels of beer and stuck them in his garage. <laughs> yeah, so he's he's been alright. I think he's run out of it now, to be honest. But yeah, he's been alright. You guys collect the shooting stars that was up on the beach that are different colours. There were shooting stars on the beach? Oh, for the lights, sorry. Yeah, maybe one or two, I guess, yeah. I mean, B, C, E, and C, E, right? What's that, then? I don't know what that means. Gum sucker is a great term, yeah. There's a sort of pub where there's three men in it going... Mm, problem these days, isn't it? It's weird to think that I started playing the game at the same time because your island makes it look like you've been playing months more than my mind looks like a couple of weeks ago. Well, that's just how it goes, eh? Everyone has different priorities, right? Which is awesome, go you dad. I know, good thinking, right? Like they, they basically said you can buy it at cost. So what's B, C, E, and C, E? I don't know that one. Before Common Era and Common Era. Oh, right, okay. There's like a non-religious version of it. Oh, that's fair enough. I mean, I'm I'm a, like, devout atheist. <laughs> and I still say BC and AD. Like, that doesn't really bother me. But, yeah, that's fair enough, aliens. Can you come to my island? No, sorry. Common Era. I don't know. I don't feel like, I don't feel like 2,000 years ago <laughs> is really Common Era. <laughs> I, I know what BC is, Simsley. Yeah, I just didn't know what BCE and CE and AD is. Um, is it Aeus Dominus? Annus Dominus. Annus Domini. Is that what it is? It's after Christ, but in Latin, right? Yeah. We'll talk about problems these days. People bought the houses for a thousand quid. Yeah, exactly. On one way, they bought the houses for fifty quid when you could earn a pound a week. <laughs> so now standing in historical writing, nobody uses BC or AD. Well, luckily I'm not a historical writer, so what are you going to do? Uh, oops. I got stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, no, we're not There you go. There's a year of year of Christ then. I know his year, isn't it? Year of King. No, King is Rex. It's been a long time since I learned any Latin. <laughs> year of Lord. Yeah, Year of Our Lord. There we go. Uh, oh, we haven't got any fossils. Dig it. Throw it back in. We're gonna set. We're sending some. Uh, we're sending some plants. Use BT. Yeah, I, I would say most of the Western world still uses BT and AD. I think I think if you start like nothing wrong with BCE and BC or whatever it was BCE and CE, that's totally cool, no issues with it at all. But I do think that if you're having to use them because you refuse to use the the religious term, then you need to stop using the word Christmas and you need to stop saying Thursday because that's Thor and you know all the other ridiculous like this pretty much everything in modern culture is based on religion like you wouldn't be able to do anything so surely I don't know it just seems a bit over the top <laughs> um uh, what's this up? Since BC and AD would have been weird at my high school, why is that? No more days of rest, exactly, yeah. 
Can't have Sundays. All the days. Yeah, pretty much all the days, I think. Actually, no. Yeah, all the days are based on gods, aren't they? I don't know them all off the top of my head, but like, yeah, that might, no, I wouldn't be surprised if they were, yeah. How about BTN and ATN? Before Tom Nook and after Tom Nook. Well, that means we'd be in the year... What would be in the year 20 ATN, I guess? How about first GameCube is about 20 years ago, is that right? Thursday, what is that? I only know Flurm's Day. Yes, our, our, God, our Lord and Saviour Flurm. <laughs> Woden's is Wednesday, Thor's, Saturn, Freya, Sun's Day, and, and, and people worship the sun at some point, I suppose, whether or not they actually thought it was a god. Jewish high school. Oh, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. But 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 Jews still believe in Christ, don't they? I mean, as, as in, they still believe Jesus existed. If that makes sense. Like, I, as a like I say, as an atheist, believe a man called Jesus Christ existed. Not like <laughs> first name Jesus, surname Christ. <laughs> I believe there was a man that was Jesus of Nazareth. What I don't believe is that he was the son of God. Can't say goodbye, because that actually means God be with you. Okay. I, again, I don't I don't know if that's true, but it sounds very it sounds very uh, plausible, yeah. That's I mean there's loads of things you can't say. Christ was a Jew, exactly. King Garth, in fact. No, no. Jews don't. Jews don't believe that Christ existed. Jews, Jews don't believe that Jesus existed. They don't believe he was the son of Christ. They believe he was a like a pro, uh, like a prophet or something. Isn't the same as the same as like. Uh, They just believe he was a man. Right, okay. Right, okay. Mr. G Mr. J. Christ. <laughs> huh? So I believe. Not at all. Though we mostly agree he was alive. He has no resonance in Judaism. Right, okay. So, but but there is, there is things that... There is somebody who refers to him as King of the Jews, don't they? So what's that then? The Romans mocked him. Oh, okay. I, I could say it's not really my area. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Christmas and Easter's names were made to not sound Christian, so that Christians could trick other religions into celebrating Christ. I'm not sure about that. I know that the Christmas, as in the, the the mass of Christ, was was like fabricated to happen on 25th, 25th December. So, oh, um, fabricated to happen on 25th December, so that it, so that it lined up with solstice, right? So that they could make it easier to transfer pagans over it. So they would say to pagans, oh, you celebrate winter solstice? Oh, we've got a great thing at that time of year that you can join in with as well called Christmas. You'll love it. Like that was kind of like, like apparently, like scholars believe that Jesus, Jesus was born in the summer, right? Uh, shovel. Very deep for 2.30 a.m. Yeah, it's deep for 9, for 38 Animal Crossing live streams, to be honest. Hmm. They believe him to be a man. Yes, that's Hebrew faith. Mostly believes Christ was a rabbi, not the Son of God. Right. Okay. INRI was on the cross. Yes, that's that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, King of the Jews. Right. There we go. Wait to say about this new thing. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what they did. Yeah. All our holidays are replaced pagan holidays. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Do we have a shovel? We do not have a shovel. So we need hard wood and iron. It's so up. Are you so up? I might just take my pants off. I'm sorry. <laughs> You can't see him. <laughs> oh god, when will I forget that this isn't the crafting room anymore? Israel also means Jewish people. Right. Sorry, for I said this too soon. Oh, it's okay. I've heard him refer to as King of Israel. Yeah. Mm. 
Knox would have loved this conversation. Knox would have been all over this. Very big on there. I don't know whether Knox was into like like proper organized religion though. He was more of a cult leader, right? I've been involved in many cults. Some as a leader, some as a follower. You make more money as a leader. You have more fun as a follower. Uh, and yet we all come together and have a uh, educated conversation about all of this. Yeah, exactly. There's no reason to get too upset about it, eh? Uh, I'll just make the one for now. With Nox. He's not dead. Actually, Nox didn't go any to anybody, so yeah. He's the, he's the animal fucking equivalent of dead. Yeah. I saw Nox as a classic monk. Uh, like a Templar, I think he was. I think like there was meant to be like Templar vibes. I think. Yeah. Like I said before the stream, I'm into geekism after hours. Well, that would that would that would uh, suggest a more racy, yeah, uh, racy element toward the content. Not religious debate. Oh. It's it, you, yeah. You can't be like like I've, I've said before. I'm I I would I would probably describe myself as a million militant atheist. Um. Do you not? Would you not? Would you not say that I have I I could be described as aggressively anti-religion in some of the conversations I've had with your parents? Yeah, but someone's just said they're Jewish. Yeah. And you haven't gone off that about oh no no you're no no. I would no. just say that you're very strong. I have no, I have no problem with the religious people. <laughs> just religion. <laughs> Is that fair? <laughs> Sexy Jesus. Yeah, exactly. If you want to. Yeah. Explains the haircut. Do you know what? I did think I got like I did. I, I'm I'm kind of glad I made it purple because <laughs> I was walking around before with a German Shepherd on a tight lead, and um and a and a and a mohawk, and I was like, do I look a little bit like a Nazi? <laughs> and I was like, I'm thinking at least like the purple kind of puts me off a little, you know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Strong-willed atheist. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> um, I don't like the fact that these are all yellow lilies. I've been meaning to do something about this for a long time, actually. So while we've got some plants on us, what have we got? We've got a red, a red mum. Uh, funny, John. I don't have a problem with just religious people. Well, I don't know. I suppose if there wasn't religion, there wouldn't be religious people, right? Just, we'd all just find something else to argue about. We'd all be we'd all be in hair colour cults or something, right? Um I feel like I missed lost. Came here for lanterns. Well we're doing lanterns, we're just clearing the area out that's so gonna be lanterns. Oh, is that something good there? I don't think it is. It's not that there's a bluey one that's like really good money. I think that might be like the middling one. Is that jewel beetle that one? Yeah, I, I don't I don't think they sell particularly. Played AC and H and I finally caught a scorpion. Yay! He got stung many times. I still haven't caught one. My wife has caught some. And we have them uh, we now have them in the in the museum because of that, but I haven't actually caught some. Is this a hardwood tree? I don't feel like we've ever got fruit off this. Not a huge fan of it if it is. It needs to go. I don't like hardwood trees, eh? Oh. Will we see Raymond today? Oh, that's a thought. Yeah, let's go and pop in to see Raymond. So, I'm so lost with my villagers now. Did he take over from Deirdre? Is that right? So, this is Zucker. Okay. He's just hanging out outside his house. He's in the swamp. That's right. So, Audi is here. And then, yeah, here he is. He's, he should be up here in boxes getting sorted. Mm -hmm. Here he 
is. Oh, Johnson, glad to see you. The Raymond Express has arrived on oh, no, Ice. Uh, it's a very bad metro train that needs to do some unpacking right now, so I'll have a lot to catch up on. I mean, as long as we agree, Nazis are bad. Uh, well, on the yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I think we all agree on that, yes. Uh, it's clearly interesting doing a medieval history degree and seeing the spread of religion versus cults. Ah, uh, religion is just cults with money. There's so many new villages lately I can't keep I know, I can't. It's my island that I can't keep up. Raymond replaced the birthday girl. Oh, bless her. Right, she's gone to a good home, though. Let's clear this path out a little. I don't like the, the flowers creeping over. Same island went from having a one-star rating to a two-star rating. Obviously, I'm doing something right. Awesome. Uh, getting up to that three star, make sure you've got lots of fences. Fences really help early on. Uh, for me, I'm more of an anything is possible. God, no God, something else entirely. But it's more of a cultural or slash heritage thing for me. Yeah, I, I find um, a lot of, uh, and I'm only speaking from experience, but I find a lot of Jewish uh, people, it, it's more about the, the culture and the, um, and the sort of the family connections rather than the actual religion. I'm not, I'm not saying most, of course. In my experience, the, the, the Jewish people I know are culturally Jewish, so to speak. Um, but yeah, you would. You, so you would call yourself an agnostic, I guess. Uh, who took Dreary? I was 100% getting her on my island when I have a switch. It was uh, Danny, right? Uh, the stream has me approving lots of mentions that YouTube keeps trying to hide. I know, right? Um, here, I'm going to give uh, Sisu a fun moderator task. Everybody, can you tell me... Um, can you tell me the name, the last word in the name of this movie? So just the last word of the name of the movie. Uh, popular movie starring Will Smith and Tommy Lee Jones about a, a secret government organisation that keeps aliens under wrap in New York. Just the last words, please. I'm giving the moderator a task because YouTube thinks that's a bad word and we'll block it out. Yeah, it might do, it might not today, but yeah. <laughs> and there's this, we'll have to sit there and accept all of them. <laughs> it's called Men in Something. There you go, message held for review, message held for review, <laughs> message held for review. <laughs> Isn't it terrible that he thinks that's a bad word? I know. <laughs> come on, Sisu, come on, come on, get up, keep up with it. <laughs> See, if you say the whole thing, it's fine, look, the whole thing works. <laughs> if you just say the last word. Yeah. Yep. Exactly, that's what happens. Andrew says it all the time. People are telling me colours and they say something's black. <laughs> it does that. Oh yeah, it started letting letting them through now. Look, that's interesting. Some of them, it trusts some of you. Oh no, is that that's Sisu? That's Sisu clicking them, saying they're okay for review. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Don't think it does the same in white. Men in wigs. <laughs> there we go. How crazy is that? I had to pause the stream and I see everyone saying black. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? Crazy. YouTube thinks that's a bad word. That is not something I've turned on. Yeah. Oh, wait, I get it now. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. Homme en noir. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Is that what it's called in French? I bet it's not. I bet it's not a literal translation. Men in black. I bet it's not called homme en noir. I bet it's, I bet it's translated something like uh, a alien super force. There we go. I'm screaming. Thank you, Sissy. Well done. As one of your uh, initiations of, as a moderator. <laughs> What other words do you think is bad? I can't remember off the top of my head. That was the only one that rings a bell because we obviously I ask for a lot of help with colours. So that sort of thing comes up quite a bit. Hey Stitches, I wonder where you were. <laughs> so funny. It's not that funny when there's like two shops on the island. I don't know what to buy when there's so much stuff like this. There's five things. 
Actually, do they sell snacks? Do they sell some seeds? Like, some people snack on seeds. Can I hear an Oreo? Where is he? I might have. Well, I might have shut the bedroom door. Oh, listen. Listen, we need to hear this. This is the nighttime music of the shop saying it's about to shut. Because you were standing a fish late. was making noises where's my baby boy oh, here he is this is our little prince this, we have shared with Animal Crossing but we have Oreo in real life he's our Sorry. Now I'm going down to French titles of American films, Rabbit Hole, I know, right? What can you aim purring? Is it black and moist? No. It should be able to, it's right up on the mic. He's out of the blanket bed. I think it might even be too hot for him in the blanket bed tonight. Oh. He's gonna come and see Indy as well. Come on, Ind. Indy. Oh, good girl. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, there she is. You need to come in here a little bit. People can't see you. Okay, you bothered about Oreo, aren't you? Anyway, let's sell these quick. We'll play shuts. We need to sell these things as well. Shuts. Oh, the music is too loud. Sorry, 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 sorry. I just sent it up so we could hear it. Isn't that per? Still, Right. So there's an apple. I'll take that. Should we do Labelle? Because she might not be here for long. I don't know what time she goes away. It might be ten. Go on, go on, let's, what style have you got for us tonight? Uh, well I'll give you a gift for your trouble. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Let's get to it. I'd love it if you show me an outfit that's outdoorsy. I mean... I mean, we're wearing it. What happens if you're inside and they close it? They just kick you out. <laughs> it just goes to a loading screen and they kick you out. It's Raven who went to the Turnip Exchange. It's okay, isn't it? I, I don't mind it. I don't mind the Turnip Exchange. I mean, you've got to sit there for an hour usually while you're in the queue. We all know Bob and Stitch is the best villagers. Everyone else can go to another island. I, you know, I used to be a huge fan of Bob. Not so much anymore. Uh, still going to search for Fauna. I don't know. Give some outdoorsy clothing. I mean, we are wearing out. We're about as outdoorsy as it is, right? Can you outfit just count as it? I mean, I can't see why not. She's even given me an Explorer shirt. Mommy, I missed the plane. Oh, wow, that's amazing. I never changed my clothes. Let's talk to her again. And what does she say? Gotta respect the retail workers and get out at closing. Oh, God. I used to work at Aldi and, like, people would walk around the shop. We close at 10 and people would potter about it until 25 past half past 10. We were just like, get out. Like, genuinely, the security guard would walk behind them down the aisle so they couldn't turn around. Like, they, we just kept pushing them towards the cash registers. I made 700 grand, which is the most I've made so far. Now, just imagine putting that 700 grand back in next week into them and then doing it again, and then you'd be set for life. Maybe very emotional. I know it's just a little sad, isn't it? I need a villager that does zoomies through the last Deidre. Stitches does zoomies. I'm just going to talk to her. Like, we, we can't be more outdoorsy. We are literally in full outdoors outfit.
Guara de la Galaxia. It's Star Wars, no way. That's a plan reinvest, yeah, definitely. Surprised not Kennedy's open to lanes. Everything here has been closed in like eight, yeah. Used to work at Canadian Tunnel. Oh my god, the amount of people who would stroll up three minutes before close. It was insane. I know, that's awful. What time is it close? It's about quite late, right? They're smashing it, by the way, Canadian Tire, with their um, with their lockdown stuff. Their, um, their curbside delivery service is awesome. We've used them like three times in the last few weeks. Nice chance we have. Yeah. Oh, are you working on it? <laughs> uh, Explorer shirt, what colour is it? Oh my lordy, how fancy do I look? Oh, I'm super, thanks for asking. Looks like something gay L would wear, that's ace. <laughs> Uh, very bad trip, the hangover. That is amazing. Uh, if you just found like a like a BuzzFeed list of these or something. <laughs> Was it Canadian Tire today? They're great. Or crappy tire, as they're known as apparently. I learned that today. Didn't know that was a thing before. But yeah, what would you say the equivalent was in the UK for people who don't know? Canadian Tire. Because it's not just it's not just like B and Q, is it? Because because B and Q is specifically like home, like B and Q is like Home Depot, right? It's like B &Q. it's like Home Depot is like P and Q plus Quick Fit. Well, I think I'm assuming that's how it started. It sells tires, sells and fits tires, and I assume that's how the company started. But now it has a big store as well that sells everything. Um. Like literally everything. There's like it, it's got a it's kind of like a no not like a Costco really is it? Yeah yeah furniture like like weights and like bikes and stuff and swimming pools and then it and then like then there's like a white goods bit. Yeah automotive bit. It just sounds like a bit of everything really. Bo is so boring. She wasn't worth my time. Well, Bo is a he <laughs> first of all. <laughs> Um, there's a mohawk wig in the game. Yeah, tell me about it, Willow Dove. I got sent about a dozen of them when I got my hair cut like a mohawk. Canadian Tire has its own money. Canadian Tire does have its own money. Have we got any Canadian Tire money to show people? Is it on the fridge? Let me show people Canadian Tire money. Canadian Tire has like rather than doing although it does have a point system as well doesn't it because you, you can get your triangle points there but rather than having like a points reward card they give you like monopoly money Argos meets B&Q meets Halfords yeah but Ar but not the stuff isn't behind the back like Argos is but yeah um, like they have their own monopoly money that you get so like at the end of your thing they're like oh you spent $110 so here's $1.10 in, in Canadian Tire money and you genuinely get like a little dollar bill and a little 10 cents bill <laughs> And then you lose it and don't actually ever turn it in. No, no, this was all cleared out a few weeks ago. Canadian Tire money is so not worth it. You get three dollars of it after spending a grand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's crap. And like, because it's not on a rewards point system, you go, oh yeah, and you put it on top of the fridge and then, like, never use it again. Do they? That's what we should start doing. Local toy store. A local toy store here takes Canadian time money at straight trade. Oh, that's cool. Bowie's French are beautiful. Yeah. Can you use it on a soda? I don't know. I think you've probably got to use it on something worth so much. Okay. So we need some fruits now then. I uh, only had 10 tickets, like an STR. No, I don't, say, I don't bother keeping an eye out for it, to be honest. Mm, never mind. Um, have you ever heard of Coles Cash? No. Similar system, is it? I'm going to take all these fruits. 
Cole's cash is addiction. No way. What's Cole's cash? Gonna head and catch some Z's. Have a great stream. Cheers, Ashley. Good night. Two, three, four. Actually, we probably leave a couple of these in play. We leave those two in place and that one. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Is it E five? Calls is a clothing store. I don't think we have those here. Essentially, pay you to shop there. Horrible clothing store. Everything's made to look like it's on sale, but the price is the same, if not higher than other places. And it's crap quality clothing. Oh, right, okay. Coles. K O L. K O H L. Okay, so here's the space we're working with. Usually Bo Rivet. Very sly remarks every day. I think they're all smug, aren't they? Oh no, Bo's lazy. I think Eugene and Rivet are both... Oh no, Rivet's a jock, isn't he? You've got three people who just don't like you. <laughs> Calls is where they mark everything up to 200% and then discount it back to normal. Then tell you, say, $500 on your receipt. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, I know, yeah. And they give you $10 coupons based on how much you spent to come back and get more stuff. Why are we still shopping at coal? Okay, right then, let's uh, pick up these for a moment. So far we've got four lanterns. Um, I put them in a food. Oh dear. Give me a little wipe out with a bit of tissue for me. Let's see if she's got a bit of seed or something stuck in there, I don't know. It's been out today rolling in the grass. Oh, you okay? And your moon. Oh yeah, my big moon. I can't figure out what to do with that yet. There's no dark dirt path. We did light down there, didn't we? Yeah, yeah there's a light there. Yeah. Is she being a bother or a botherer? Oh. Never get safety outfit. Oh we should wear we should be safety first here, shouldn't we? How many days until moving day? Ten. Yes, we've got a shell lamp as well. Good night, Kelly. Good night. It's exciting. I know. We can't wait. Can't wait to get garden, we can't wait to get air conditioning. I'm very excited. Okay. Oh, oh, did you put some of that stuff in? Yeah. I can smell it from here. Oof. That's so strong smelling that stuff. Wow, loving the haircut. Thanks, Rob.
They're remaking Toys R Us. It's supposed to be Jeffrey's new playhouse. All right. Oh, God, that's making my eyes water. Oh, <laughs> that was like a little change of view there. Need to buy some jeans. Yeah, we need to go. We need to go clothes shopping. I don't want to at the minute though because you can't try anything on and you can't do any returns or anything right now. It kind of sucks. send you when the servers are back up. Oh, what's a Nova light? And are the servers down? Why am I playing then? Is it just is it only bothering the internet? Stuff? How hot is it tonight? Oh fifties in the tri state. Fifties is that fifty that's fifty Fahrenheit. I have no idea how hot that is. Is that hot? Fifty Fahrenheit? That's cool. 20. Oh, 20 is warm. Uh, what's the path for? Just for walking on? No one from is, is no one is from Los Angeles. I, quite a few people are from Los Angeles. Oh, ten. ten. Ten's cool. I know that people in Florida complain when it's warm. That it's warm? Yeah, Somebody's saying it's warm, it's in 50s. Maybe that, is it like in the middle of the night? Maintenance for visits and postal stuff. Right, internet then, yeah, fair enough. Sticky 21. Yeah, it's about the same here, I think. About 21 at the minute. Which is not too bad here, it's just the lack of aircon we've got at the moment is. Fortress. I'm going to double in and add 30 to work out what C is to F. Okay, that makes that would put 50 at 10, then yeah, that sounds about right. Is that like a, a rough a guesstimate? Ah, oh, no, we're not going to be able to put trees there. One there. Okay, let's walk into the area. And one there. We want some at the front, don't we? Hope to be completely open. That wouldn't look great. And one there. Campsite site that campsite sign could probably move now a bit forward because it was originally there because of where the stairs were, wasn't it? Here for a stream on the weekday. Hi Olivia. We could probably bring these down to here now, couldn't we? Yeah, there we go. That looks better. Perfect. Okay. Let's go and pick up that moon. I think the moon should probably go at the top of the stairs there. Weekend's supposed to be hot. Make sure you get the aircon when we some fans. We've got the fans on there and they're crap, but we're gonna. I'm gonna get because we've got two like window units, like little five thousand BTU units. I'm not bothering wiring them up, and then but then we've got a bigger. I think it's a twelve thousand unit that just that just has an exhaust going into the window. So I'm probably gonna open that one up and and use that. Yeah, we did a polar plunge. Oh yeah, I've done a polar plunge before. There was a we went on a ship once uh, somewhere in the I think it was in Sweden. And it's got a boat crossing, and they had a polar. They had one of those like dipping polar plunge things. That was cool. What's a polar plunge? It's like a really small. It's like a pool that's like wide enough to just stand up in and deep enough. And it's like ice cold water, but it's kept moving so it doesn't freeze, and you can jump in and out of it. And it takes your breath away. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, 50 is not warm. I, I don't even for people in the UK, 50 is not warm. If 50 is around 10 Celsius, that's not really warm now. 16 shorts is insane for me. So 60 would be minus 30. What did we say? Minus 30 and double it? So 60 is like 15. Yeah, I wouldn't wear shorts for 15 degrees C. No. 20 is at least for shorts for me. We just do polar plunges. In. Oh yeah, no, yeah, of course you can just jump into cold lakes, yeah. But they they, they actually make a thing where they, they call it a polar plunge. Like I think they actually they've actually sort of brand named it polar plunge, where it's like they have them in saunas and stuff. But yeah, it's just it, it's just jumping in cold water, very cold water. Uh, we did have a moon. Where did that go? Is it class as houseware? There it is. Where'd you get a menorah? Uh, we don't have a menorah. We have a... Go on, somebody in the chat... I can't remember what it's called now. It's not called a menorah, but it's... But what's it called? Somebody, somebody, somebody in the chat tell me. They'll, 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 they'll tell me. Somebody in the chat knew last time. I hate Imperial. Yeah, I hate Imperial measurements as well. They still use them here a lot, quite a lot in Canada, unfortunately. Britain is much worse. I know. I'm, I hate them. I, but I hate the fact that I've moved somewhere. I've moved to one of the few countries that still uses them. Yeah. A Kwanzaa. Thank you. Yeah. 18 or yeah, because a pint isn't a measurement here, it's just a large glass of beer. Yeah. That reminds you of mayo. Oh, yeah. Claws. Uh, oh, my word, we've got all sorts here. What's our bags like? Do we need some space? No, we should be okay. Oh, the candles are called Canara. The event is Kwanzaa. There you go. So cool. Thank you, Molly. Jordan, man, a few words. Tom, for Raymond's Tom impression. Thanks, thanks. We're waiting for this to show up, as I thought this might be useful for your hives. Ah, thank you, Andrew. Audi, I can't walk around here. It's all the gardening stuff. Okay. Uh, Danny, thank you. Two of two. Let's read these in the wrong order. Uh, to go with the baseball uniform I bought. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Danny. This would be a good Halloween costume, I think. Uh, wait, let's come out of here so we can try stuff on. Back with the Ben and Jerry's ice cream, my own invention. Put leftover s'mores brownie in a bowl of vanilla. Sounds perfect. I, uh, I saw ice cream today in Shoppers that was the exact same size and very similar colours to... Um, Indiana's raw food. <laughs> I was so tempted to buy some and leave it in the fridge to see what happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, done. I just managed to join in. It's 3 a.m. here. What have I missed? Mm, not much. I guess not much is in the chat if you can. Uh, sometimes I like to refer to myself as 174 centimeters tall to be amusing. Oh, yeah, see, that's a fair one, actually. I have no idea how tall I am in centimeters. I use the imperial measurements for, for height quite comfortably. Uh, a train set. Awesome. I love these things. Oh, it's the winter one. Awesome. I don't think we have the winter one. We have to find somewhere to put those. Not much, not much, not much. Uh, oh, that's the one I've just picked up. So, bunny day lamp, mush, mush lamp, yeah, bamboo shoot lamp. Okay, what we got, what we got, what we got. Uh, some wood, awesome, thank you. Sweater vest, 
Is this... Oh, is this... Uh, let's come out of here. We're going to have to give this to Raymond so he looks just more more, more like Tom. Uh, what do we need to do? Oh, we need to use our wand, don't we? Uh, do you have or have you thought of getting a P.O. box? So, I haven't thought about... I have thought about getting a P.O. box, but it's relatively expensive for what I what I imagine would be a relatively small return. Not that I'm would not that I wouldn't be incredibly grateful for anything people sent to me. Uh, just that I imagine the very small amount of people who would want to send me stuff, it wouldn't necessarily warrant the cost of having one. I, I think here there's something like $120 a month, um, which is an expense I can't warrant at the moment. But saying that, um Somebody gave John to wood. I know I needed lots of wood. Uh, Jordan sent me some. Thank you. Um, saying that, Canada Post here do do a redirection mail that goes to a nearby shopper's drug mart for you. And it's meant to be used for giving to places like Amazon if you know you're not going to be home. And then it's left at shoppers for you to go and pick up. So I've got myself one of those because they're free and it's available to see on the website but nobody I, one person has used it so far and uh last week and their thing hasn't arrived yet so i'm actually not advertising it much until like hopefully their thing turns up or not if that makes sense um yeah so did i say do do <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that's the that's the idea. I'm gonna hold on and see if that works. Okay, sweater vest. Let's have a look. Oh my god, it's exactly what Tom wears. I assumed that was one you made, Tom. Like I'm quite surprised that that's actually in the game. Um, you're in Canada. Uh, yeah, I live in London, Ontario. London, Ontario. No, not that one. Red rose bag, thank you. That was off Audi, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Cheers, Audi for a single red rose. Pleather sneakers. Oh, they're awesome. They'll go perfect with the uh, with the baseball outfit. Uh, this is a, like a hat, a helmet. <gasps> Batter's helmet. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, I hate it when they take the mustache off. It's really annoying. He does look awfully cute in that, though. Look at that. <laughs> okay. I made one, then Super sent me a super asking one that exists. That's fair. That's fair. It is crazy. Uh... It is crazy realistic. Okay. So, the moon is a pretty big one. So, I don't think it should go near the campsite. That's looking busy enough already. I feel like maybe at the top of the stairs here it would look good. Uh, oh, honeybee! I didn't even notice that when we opened it. Thank you. That's what's going to look awesome by the um, by the hives. Let's go and throw that in quick. Hello, hi, Jeffrey. Love your content. Thanks, Jeff. Better London, Ontario than Paris, Texas. Imagine you're disappointed if you told you were going to Paris and ended up in Texas. There's a Paris, there's a Paris about 20 minutes away. Paris not far down the road from us. And there's a Dublin the other way. <laughs> I imagine. Equally disappointing. Although I'm not a massive fan of Paris, France, if I'm honest. But Paris, Ontario is a is a little little oil uh, oil field village, I think. Let's see what our honeybee looks like. <gasps> That's adorable! Thank you so much. I understand how much that, how tricky that was to get as well. Oh, he looks ace. I'm tempted to try and get another couple of those, you know. Do you have a shooting star night? I don't think so. We definitely don't have a, uh, a big shooting star night. We might get a couple, but no. Afraid not. I'm only a hair ahead of you. I have to call it a night. Good night, Jenna. Everyone make sure you sub to him. Oh, I think most people here are sub, Jeff. We've got most, most regulars here tonight. Thank you, though. The moon is a pretty big one. 
I mean, like, in comparison to the other lanterns. I'm just going to sit here for no reason. Um, I would have loved to say I lived in Paris, France. I, I don't know, you know. If you've if you've been, it it, it ain't the it ain't the postcard that it uh, that it has the impression of. If that makes sense. But what, what am I trying to say? Yeah, I don't. I don't mind. It's, yeah, it's, I I I quite like London. London, England, that is. Yeah. Uh, Paris is a bit dirty. Yeah, that's what I found. Uh, Maine has a Madrid, Mexico, and a Peru. Look just north of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway. Belfast is near Frankfurt, and Vienna is near Rome and Belgrade. Calais sits on the Canadian border. Fantastic. I mean, they all have it right. We're just we're very lazy when we move somewhere. So there's the moon. That looks great at the top of the stairs. There, we'll come up and we go boom the moon. I love it. Ignore that thing in the background. <laughs> uh, for a time, I lived in Bethlehem, Connecticut. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? <laughs> so here's going to go our first lantern, which is the yeah, shell lamp. Right near, near, yeah, and if we weren't near a Plymouth in New Hampshire, yeah. In PA, we have an intercourse and a blue ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. We have some really good places, names where I'm from in the UK. There was a re my, my favourite places to work. We used to do kids' parties. And we used to go to this little village, village hall, and we pretty much did every kid in the village kids party over the space of a two, two or three years. Uh, and it was called Sheepy Magma. I was like, what a place name is that? Sheepy Magma. Oops. Um. Brombra. Brombra was well when we first moved. I always thought that Brom Brombra was a funny one. Spittle. I always used to hate the name Spittle. Spittle. Ugh. I live near a street called Whitmer Watmagate. Yes, you do, in York. Yeah. That's Tom Crosby. Tom lives in York. I do. That was the one where, where Tom said, let's get lunch, and I said no. Because <laughs> we had a full day planned already, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, with my Watmagate, yeah. Uh, just asking, what star rating does your own have? A uh, five, I think. It might occasionally drop down to four, but yeah, it's five. Mushroom lamp. Oops. Can we not move that? We can't. Is that that's because I? That's because the tree's in the way, though, right? That's not because the lamp can't go there. There we go. Here we go, look at this. I live on a street, I live near a street called Cow Pasture. That's a pretty good one. We have a star in Wales. It's anything but a star of a place, nice. My in-laws live in a road named Bagadoose. <laughs> I can't not giggle at it, no me neither I guess. Here in Awari, we don't have many other place names. It's either native or based on military occupation. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah, I think we have some really cool place names, though, in Hawaii. I bet the native language is awesome. I live close to a road called Potato Road. That's a good one. We're not we're not living on it, but where we're moving to, there's a, the, the road's called Cheapside. Like, the main road near us is called Cheapside, and I think that's a really awful name. For road. Uh, do I need a Nova Star? I mean, I, some Nova Stars will be cool. They're different colours, right? So if, I, if we can get some different colour Nova Stars, that'd be good. The problem is I never play at night, apart from these occasional night streams. So I never know if there's going to be a, a thing. Oh yeah, Gattaca. Because it's spelt Gateacre. That's by the way your mum is, isn't it? Yeah, Gateacre. It's pronounced Gattaca. Hoyton, not Hyton. Hoyton. Heighten and heighten, yeah. You should play some Nova Lamps. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. 
Uh, there's one Rome rogue plant right there at the back. Look. I think some bushes and weeds would work well here as well. My hometown is called Battleground, Washington, but there's never been a battle there. Oh, wow. That's cool. Lands and walkies looking good. Yeah, I think so. I think it needs more lanterns. But we, uh, but I don't want to do duplicates. So we, we need to try and find other lanterns that kind of fit, really. And when I say lanterns, I don't... Because there's nice there's a couple of like wooden lanterns that you can DIY, I think. But I'm not necessarily referring to those. I don't even know if I can make them. But we have one. Um, see, there's those things. I think they might be a bit big. Oh, there's that one. Oh, no, that's a doll. I thought there was a light that looked like that. So there's that one. But that's not really what I'm going for. Do you understand what I mean by land? Like, almost like they're, like, inflated and lit up. You know, like the kind of thing... Uh, like, if you were... What's the word? Like, going on, like, a Christmas thing you walk, you know? What about the tall lantern, which is stone? I don't think I have that one. Uh, cheap side comes from when people used to throw chamber pots into the streets. If you were downhill, you were on the cheap side. Nice. I can't imagine that's why cheap side Canada is named that way. No, we have cheap side Liverpool as well. Well, cheap side Liverpool probably did. They just carried it over. Because I can't imagine they would have used chamber pots. Well, I don't know, actually. Yeah, maybe. Huh? Yeah. I don't really know what they did, because we, we were only really taught the history as far as yeah. toilet habits. Yeah, that's true. We didn't do the toilet habits of the world, did we? The, this one glows up, does it? The bamboo doll looks like a lamp unless you press A. Fantastic. Let's go make one of those. Paper lantern. Like paper lantern. Yeah, like... Yeah, I guess paper lanterns, but like, but they set them out on the on the street. You can go and see them all different. And like at Christmas, they have like big inflatable things that you walk around. They're all lit up, you know, that kind of thing, you know. Um, that's a good idea, Olivia. Oh, what's a good idea? Will you place a speaker? Does that I would like to put speakers everywhere, actually, and I just keep forgetting to do it. That's going to be our job one day: is to is to put speakers around everywhere. Yeah. There's an old folks home near me on a street called St. Peter's Close. <laughs> and I always walk past the big areas. <laughs> That's ace. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Who's beating up who? See, we've got these as well, soft serve lamp. It's a little I don't it's not quite what I want, I don't think. A little tacky, you know. I want them to always have like a mysterious vibe. Uh, we have some spring bamboo. We picked it the other day whilst we were looking for fauna. Where is it? Where the bloody hell is it? Oh, here we go. This bamboo. Spring bamboo. I'll make that. I'll make more. Oh, thank you, Nicole. Maybe you can't send anything at the moment, but I appreciate it. Apparently, the servers are down. Oh, bamboo doll. Yeah, apparently that lights up. Go for it. Do you have bamboo floor lamps? No. What do they look like? Oh yeah, that's the kind of thing I want. I didn't think would work well because that that looks like a lamp that you would buy in IKEA. That's not really the sort of thing I was going for. Because there's also this one as well. Hold on. Um, it's so weird. I know. Tell me about it, Brian. I make I, that was the first time I think I've ever got it right. It was on the right one. Let's go back to work there. Bye, everyone. Cheers, Sam. Good night. There's an oil lamp. Like this thing, I don't think would work. Like this one here. 
I don't think that would work. We don't come in here anywhere near enough. This is a cool room. You're making your own dolls now? Didn't I send enough? There'll be more as soon as the servers back up. I'm kind of enjoying... Enjoy, I've got a Blossom Blooming Lance. And again, it looks like a piece of furniture. That's not kind of not what I'm going for. Do you know what I mean? That yeah, the stuff that looks like furniture isn't really my isn't really what I want to go for. I want to go just for the more like it's just an item that glows, you know. Trees bounty lamp. Don't know. I'm not sure about that one. It's not awful. It requires acorns. Maybe we'll we'll look at those when we get round to acorns. Then it it's quite nice. I'd have that in the house, you know. The ac all the acorn stuff looks amazing, by the way. Yeah, and star fragments just dropped around. Yeah, I think we we do we have any star fragment? The problem is right. I've been to one um, star storm. No, yeah, Nicola went when Tom had one on his island. I think, or was it Jordan had one on his island? Um, and we time travelled and, and, didn't, and couldn't do it the next day. Couldn't get it the next day. We have one, we have a single large star fragment, that's it. And I had some small fragments, um, but that's what the cost for the last time I did um, turnips was. Oh my god, I can't use my words. Meteorite shower, thank you. Meteor shower is the word I was trying to come up with before. I, I've been, Nicola went to one. On, on my character and then we time traveled and didn't get any next mo next morning <laughs> i think other people can pick them up Ooh, just had a goose on knockers on oh just had a look sorry yeah just had a goose on knockers on there aren't many lamps or lanterns no no i don't think there is unfortunately i think maybe we can look at doing like color combinations i wonder if any of these can be customized i don't imagine the bunny day lamp one could be that might be a, a worth a look actually to see whether or not any of them can be customized. So we've got one more at the moment, which is the bamboo doll. Yeah, that's ace. Oh, it kind of glow. Oh, that's creepy as hell. I love it. Um, Crescent moon chairs look good. And they are chairs. Combination of the walk. You can have a six. Oh, that's neat. Hyacinth lamps. Oh yeah, hyacinth lamp looks perfect. You can still get them. Oh yeah, oh I know you can still get them, but it, I mean it's literally a case of just sitting there, right? Because I never hear the noise. So it's just literally a case of sitting here and going. Oh, and then minus. I think you can. You can. I've had them with this amount of clothes before. Georgia Aquarium. I've heard good things about the Georgia Aquarium, yeah. Let's look into that one. Mush lights have so many different colours. I think that's what we might need to do is is get a few and customise them, I think. Somebody sent me this mushroom light because we haven't got mushrooms this side yet. Uh, Pisces and Scorpio lamps. Again, I'm not quite sure they're the sort of thing we're going for because they anything that looks like a piece of furniture isn't quite right. The, the Pisces lamp isn't terrible. That's the fish in the water, right? Oh no, no, it's not. No, it looks like furniture. It's not. It's no good. Um, 
There's some people to make them little gadgets. Yeah, and you can buy like turbo controllers and stuff, right? But I don't, I don't think the shell can be. Can we, can we do any of these, or have we all been sent them? No, we've got the. That would be where the shell lamp is. But we can't make it unless it passes miscellaneous. Let's have a look at all for a minute. I don't think we can make any. It's people have sent them me when I've mentioned that we wanted lamps. Because they're all very nice people. Uh, like that's a wall one. That's no good. That's a, just a pair of big butt. We've got loads of cherry stuff. What's that all about? I hate all of this fruit stuff. I hate it. I mean, there's that palm tree lamp, but it's just so intense. It's so large. Uh, oh, we do have the bamboo speakers. Yeah, we might make some of those up. Uh, so we've got that one, Bamboo Doll. We've got that one. Neither of those can be colour changeable. Uh, that's it then, isn't it? After Easter, there's nothing after the Easter stuff. Hmm. You don't need Celeste, just keep an eye out if you're fishing. Basically, the background is clear and there is one. Notice it. There's usually one. Yeah, they usually come as a couple. The, uh, the, 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 the thing I'm saying is that if you get them at your like, shower, you can sit there for like an hour and just tap it, you know, and just get them all. Uh, Jack O' Lantern Festival, yes, that'd be good with um, what's his name, a little pumpkin dude. I don't think the palm tree is right. No, I don't either. It's just too big. I think Coco's just hanging out there tonight. I think that they're it for now. Hyacinth lamp, Nova lamps, they, they'd be great if we can get some of those. And maybe a couple of the mushrooms, just different colours. I just like the idea of all of this being lit up. But what I do want is some weeds. I'm gonna try and put it out with some weeds. I bet the bamboo candle, not glowy, but my man is it out. No, again, I know I want stuff that glows. I know that's I know it's really specific, but I know exactly like in my head what I'm what I'm thinking of, you know? Like, hold on. Right, that's not a bad, it's a really tiny picture. Right, but I'm going to try and show you that. Like that kind of thing. Like I don't I don't even know what you'd call that. But that kind of uh That's what I've got in my head when I'm trying to think of the lights we need, you know what I mean? That's kind of what I've got an idea from in my head. In my head. Um, bamboo shoot lamp. Uh, did we not just do that? Oh, bamboo shoot lamp. No, we've got one of those. Yes, rose. Thank you. Iridescent. That's a good word. Did we get a final total of donations for your haircut? Um, well, I can have a look. It's actually still on for like the rest of the week. You have to set it for like a week long, so you, people can still go and donate if they want to, if they watch the like the live back. But at the moment, it stands at uh, one thousand two hundred and twenty-six dollars, which is insane. I think they're called super tacky Christmas lights. I think they are called that. Yes, exactly. Yes, they are kitschy, yeah, very much so. And the mushrooms, we have a mushrooms, yeah. Nova lights and star fragments might be your best shot. Yeah, I think so as well. Stuff that's lit from the inside, yeah. Iridescent is not what that is, though. Oh, okay. Is iridescent like things that naturally glow? I think so, iridescent is like, 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 like
fucking right. Um, you don't want the ice cream lamps. I, I've got a few of them, but I just for some reason they just I just don't think they'll sit right. Um, okay, let's take that large star fragment just to see what that looks like. And we've got so we've got two of them here. We got rocket lamps. I'm not gonna use those. I just for some reason I just don't think these are gonna look good. Oh, we had a bamboo doll. Of course, Tom sends us one. Of course. Uh, I still need to find somewhere for Stonehenge to go. And for them. Oh, no. I know where that's going. Uh, do we have any stuff from Leaf? Oh, yeah, we do. Pink, 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 holly, blue. So let's go for blue, red. And pink is the only one. Oh, my pockets are full. These are my lungs of shiny or reflective. Yeah, that's what Nicola reckons as well. I'll give that to Marshall, uh, to Raymond when he's more friendly with us. Desert, put away, put away, put away. Uh, put away, put away. Okay, now we'll take you out. And those weeds as well, thank you all. Um, what time is it where you are? Uh, 20 to 11. Jordan, what are you doing up? <laughs> Luminescence, yes, that sounds more right, yeah. Uh, two never lights and one high tip lamp, which do you want? Ooh, I'll take, an, I'll take one of each. Thank you. Can you send them? Or will it, will it just like sit in the ether until tomorrow? That'd be interesting. So what have we got here? We've got some soft serve lamps. I just, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling the soft serve lamps. I don't know why. It just doesn't sit right. Tell me I'm right. <laughs> There's one that goes up, yeah. We could maybe put that behind some flowers. That's a good idea. I think it's called floor lamp, yeah. The first word that came to my head. Oh no, don't worry about it, Crazy Mink. It's okay. It just won't send. Right. Tacky, yeah. What about sea butterflies? Yeah, no. They do light up. Yeah, no soft serve. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. Just needed you folks to tell me. That's all. Doesn't go, does it? Like the more natural looking things that happen to glow. Yes, exactly. Natural looking things that happen to glow is exactly the sort of look we're going for. So what about uh, what about some of these lamp these things? See that I'm feeling, I'm feeling that. Everything you've got so far is natural mushroom shells. Yeah, exactly. Now I don't mind like the occasional thing that maybe isn't natural necessarily, but yeah, you're right. They are, they, yeah, they are all natural. You're right. I haven't even noticed that. Okay, cool. So, uh, oh, did we not? Yeah, we did pick them ones up, didn't we? So, pink. I'm gonna plant plant a few of these around the further back just to give the give the whole thing a little bit of height over here. Pretty much weeds everywhere, although we will have to keep on top of these weeds because they'll do that, which we don't really want. So 
definitely going to have to change up what the path is here, because otherwise the weeds will eventually overrun. But I know the island doesn't like weeds necessarily, but I think they look great. So we're having them. Uh, we can double some of them. Yeah, yeah, I think if we if we could double some that had different colours, that would be okay. Behind me. No, behind me. Yes. It looks good during the night. It looks great during the night. Floor lights would really light the trees up. Yeah, but does it? Do they actually light stuff up? Because I thought that people were saying like the problem is they don't actually light anything up. I want all this to be super weed heavy. I sent you purple floor lights the other day. You did? What? Let's have a look. Wait, I just realized something. John T, are you related to Jack? Um, I am, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give him a call and ask him how he feels about 15 year old references. The fake Rosetta Stone. Oh, we do have the fake Rosetta Stone. This was this was why we picked it up actually. It was for this reason, yeah. They definitely light straight up in a cone the floor lights, yeah. So, so where are they then? If not, I can send them again. No, no, no. If you sent them, they're here. Oh yeah, there's that lucky formative statue. We'll try that. I'm not sure, but we'll try it. Oh, there! Look, floor lights. They don't. They look weird there. They don't. You know what I mean? They don't look like the little lights, do they? Boom, 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 boom. Fake red stone doesn't glow. I think it does. Oh, it, that was the reason we. That's why we bought it. Yeah. It, it does. It well, it's got like a light on it, but it. Yeah, it's not great, is it? I thought the whole thing glowed. I thought it was luminescent. Um, it's more of a... There's like a weird spot on it. Hard all wrong. Just the reaction I've done before. Yeah. There was there was talks about one of his... Um, in one of the movies, his brother showing up and being called John. Um, but instead, they went for his father. Uh, was, it, was it Keith Richards? Call him something else, thank god. Maybe the whole statue glows when you click it. Does it stay glowy though? That's the thing. Ooh, they are cool. What are we thinking then? Behind trees? Like behind this back row of trees here? Oh, that, I didn't want to do that at all. Like behind trees where they glow up? Oh no! We've oh for some ridiculous reason we've put a uh, we've put a shrub there right behind that tree. Let's just pick that up and put it there instead. The fifth one is Uncle's played by Paul McCartney. Oh yeah, I think that might have been it. I think it was going to be his brother, and it was going to be somebody else, and they and they and then they backed out, so they rewrote it to be Uncle, uh, and then Paul McCartney for some reason. Oh, that that's that's unfortunate. It really sort of covers it up. Okay, in front. Trying to just swipe that shroom. We can't move that with a button. They don't quite act how I'd like those. Yeah. Yeah, they don't they don't really act how I like, even at the front as well. I'm not really feeling it. 
No. We'll save them for something else. I like them. I just don't think they really work here. Yeah. They're really nice on their own. Yeah, I think I I've got I think I I can think of somewhere they may look good. So I'll I'll have a little think about those. So floor light, floor light, what else have we got? Uh formative statue and soft serve lamps. Yeah, not not really feeling any of those. I think that's probably it then. For now. Until we get some more bits and bobs. I think for the rest of it it's just gonna be weeds and yeah, and then we come down to the campsite. It's gonna be a nice little walk to the campsite. That is. Really love it. It's. Do you know what? Even with this few lights, I think it's already looking pretty baller. What if you place the full lights behind the tree? We just did that, Desiree. It didn't really look very good. You can't really see them. Maybe behind the bushes. Maybe. Again, without the bush being there, I don't really know. Yeah. Floor lights on the pictures are great. Yeah. I. I, I can think of places where they would look good. But. Yeah, I think not really for this, but I do think that the ones we've got. So you may, oh well, I hope they come in handy sometime. They will. Well, what I was thinking was, if we get two of each colour, I assume there's lots of colours. Here's what I was thinking. You sent me two purple ones. So if we get two of each colour, I was thinking they might look good. All the way. Yeah, that'd be awesome, Jordan. Just got your just got your picture, Jordan. That's amazing. You can come over with it all if you want tomorrow. When it's all open. Good night, Savannah. Um Baller. I always say baller. I know it's horrible and old. I always I don't know why I always very much catch myself saying baller. Um what I was thinking was if we get two of each colour, we could do a rainbow down here in between these things so we do there's no room to put what you put you know so we have purple like purple blue red or i don't know whether, I don't know how the rainbow works but yeah that's what i was thinking i know you only have purple that's fine uh, Alex, I appreciate it, but yeah, but if we got all the colours going up there, that would look cool, wouldn't it? I think so, and it's subtle, it doesn't get in the way of stuff, but we could go, ooh, and there'd just be like a rainbow of colour as we move up. Wouldn't that be cool? They look good already in purple, it's kind of annoying that they snap in. But I can live with that. Yeah, that's originally when you first sent them, that's where I thought they could go, actually. Yeah, that looks lit. Roy G. Biv. Yeah, Richard of York gave battle in vain. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. So which of, the, which of indigo and violet is purple? Is indigo even a colour? Like, the only time I ever hear of indigo is when it's in the rainbow song. Nobody ever says, look at this indigo shirt I've just bought. Like, what's the difference? I was really disappointed trying to explain the colours are because it's green. What colour is the wind, Daddy? <laughs> They're both purple. They're both purple. One of them's just more purple than others. <laughs> indigo is indigo is very dark purple. Indigo is dark purple. Violet is more vibrant purple. Yeah. Jonty said gay rights. Did I? I don't think I did. But I, I believe in gay rights, of course. I don't think I mentioned it. Indigo is deep blue, I'm being told here. Indigo is like navy blue slash dark purple. Violet is purple. Well, yeah. But like I say, I never. The only time I ever hear indigo referenced is in the is in the rainbow song or the rainbow name. Richard of York gave battle purple purple. <laughs> exactly. 
Richard of York gave battle piss poorly. <laughs> Game updated. Anyone know if anything significant changed? Oh, no. Indigo is blurple. Indigo is apparently what you've dyed your hair. What does it say on the bottle? I think it says violet on the bottle. It says violet. Yeah. 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 Indigo is indigo. Is there a crystal ball? I feel like it popped up in my shop once. I'm not sure if it lit up. There's like a tray with some stuff on. It's not really a lamp though, I don't think. Just sent you two of the white floor lights. Fingers crossed, should have things in your mailbox from me. Thank you, Nicole. Is, is it working now? And where did white go on the rainbow? Did we? See, we never saw. We never saw Zucker's house, and he's in. <sighs> this is a weird house, mate. What is he meant to be? It's Zucker, I'm not impressed with your house at all, pal. So he's applying this indigo violently, but that is what I did actually. Nothing for my snack castle. It's all it's food. It's meant to be like an outdoor. I think it's meant to be like a street sushi vendor, isn't it? Zapper thing? Yeah, yeah, no, that's not really the sort of thing I'm looking. Hi, Jennifer Vlogs. In the hentai monster, he's a little squiddy. He's a little octopus. The calamari ball restaurant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, but I mean, is it? It's just, it's a like they've they've done themselves a disservice by not having much stuff in the in the game that works for it. It's meant to be like a little food market, right? It's a wet meat market. Quick, get out. Uh, it doesn't even have a bed. Half the ones I've got don't have beds at the minute. I don't get it at all. He is food. You would think he'd avoid, avoid food scores. Yeah, exactly. Uh, no, Bronx, you can't. Sorry. They're all food. I suppose anything's food if you try hard enough. <laughs> sorry, don't chat too much. It's chill to watch. It's too hard to tie. Hey, don't worry about it. Just being here as long as you enjoy yourself. Uh, Zucker is Takayaki. Yes, I believe that's what he's called. Yeah. There's a download. I'm gonna say it's it's either the it's either the um, the June stuff, the wedding stuff, or it might just be bug, bug fixes. I'm off to bed. Do the rest of the stream. I may look at sending one stream to somebody to spend this though through Discord if anyone wants to do that later. That's very nice of you, Flamina. Thank you. Because unfortunately my friend list is full right now, so there's not much I can do about that. Feel bad deleting anyone really. Uh, okay, yeah, I think that's it then, really. I'm gonna call it a night. It's been stream for a couple of hours. I'm getting a bit tired. What did the game update do? I don't know. Fish are friends. The later you get the villagers, the stranger their house gets. It almost seems that way, yeah. Garla's is a bit weird as well, isn't it? But um, yeah, there we go. Right, thank you so much for joining me, folks, for the late stream. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, glad, nice to see some of you that we don't get to chat to very much during the week. Um, so yeah, have a good night. We will be back regular time tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern. So until then, uh, we do have a Discord. It's in the description. Yeah. Uh, until then, be good. Take care, folks. See you tomorrow. Bye.